In tonight's Health Watch, it's a new treatment for cancer, and it's helping people live longer. A lot of hope here, but the drug boosts your immune system, and it works a lot better for some patients than others. Our reporter, Carly Canelli, has the story of one man who believes he's living today because of this treatment. When a doctor diagnosed Mark Williams with stage 4 melanoma, he had 17 tumors in his chest and lungs. His oncologist recommended he try an aggressive treatment that could help Williams live longer. Interleukin-2 is a protein that we all make in our bodies, but when we give it as a medication, it's given in amounts thousands of times greater than the body can make on its own. Interleukin-2 boosts the immune system, strengthening immune cells that battle melanoma. But the treatment does take a toll on the body. Basically, it's like the worst flu you could ever have with um, nausea. Uh, fevers, uh, I mean, in pretty intense fevers, usually between 101 and 105. But Williams came out of it as a cancer survivor. His oncologist, Dr. Brendan Curdy, continues to research this form of cancer treatment at Providence Medical Center. He says response rates to the drugs still need to hit higher levels. We'll find better ways to use this medicine, better ways of selecting patients who are more likely to respond. Dr. Curdy says melanoma patients receiving chemotherapy generally live two to three years after treatment. It is clear that patients who have a good response to interleukin-2 treatment can live 5, 10, 15, even 20 years after their IL-2. To be here four years later, uh, I know I'm, I'm very blessed. Williams describes every new day of his life as a gift. Reporting for you, Carly Canelli, Coin Local 6.